Hello, welcome back to another video. Um, I know it's been a while, but I'm excited to show you how to do a basic draft today. Draft using the Helen Joseph Armstrong uh, patterning book. Um, so I'm gonna talk you through where we are right now, and then I'll go through the draft. So here we go. So what you, just to give you a sense of what you're looking at, here's my Clo. I have my 3D window here with my model and then my 2D window over here. This is an Excel document that I created um, where I can put in the measurements of, in this case, I just did generic sizes, size 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Um, and then I've put in the formulas here. So as I populate these numbers, it'll automatically populate these formulas, which just makes it a lot faster. We're going to be just focusing on the front bodice formulas for this video here. I'm going to do a size 12 today. And I have loaded a size 12 model. Um, but I actually don't need to see her right now. It's going to be easier if I just come down here to the bottom. And you see you have the choice with viewing both windows, just the 3D window or the 2D window. I'm going to choose 2D. And here we go. Uh, to get started, I'm going to come over here to my patterning tool. I'm going to choose rectangle. And I'm just going to draw kind of large rectangle, just like you would if you were ripping off a piece of paper from your paper roll. Just something large that you can draft on. And then for the rest of this draft, for the most part, I'm going to be using my internal polygon tool, which is right here. And here we go. All right, so A to B is here, 18 and a quarter. I'm going to click, and I'm going to hold my shift key down, which is the lock button, so that it's always at a 90 degree angle or a 45 degree angle. And I'm going to right click and then put in my A to B, which is 18 and a quarter. Okay. All right. If you're starting out and you're following this draft for the first time, I do recommend coming over here and you can click on the pattern annotation tool. So in this case, this would be A. is 7.825. It only goes to the third decimal. And then it, I can click enter or cl left click the row. And that one. In this case, I'm going to come to my add point split line. I'm going to go B to D. And I'm going to have my point. I'm going to right click on my line, move this window so I can see. So in this case, the top part is yellow, the bottom part is blue. I'm focusing on the blue part of the line. B to D is 14.875. Hit OK. And then we'll come back to our internal polygon tool. We're going to go B to E. I'm going to hold my lock button, which is the shift. B to E is 10.625. All right, so there is my basic shape. Um, now I have to square out on some of these. Specifically, I need to square out from this point, which is point E, point C, and point D. So I'm going to come, I've gone to my edit patterning tool, I'm going to click my point, right click, add a perpendicular internal line, I'm going to choose the y-axis, 
you can see it there, but that's not where I want it. I don't want it extended, I want it reversed, and I only want it to be four inches. You can also do the same step with the internal polygon tool, but I like the precision of the perpendicular. In this case, it's the x-axis. Reverse. B to G is 18 point and a quarter. And zoom in. So now I know that I want it to start at B. It needs to end at this line. It needs to be a specific length. Um, the best way I figured out how to do that is I'm going to, you can see the number halfway. There's a black number that's halfway up the diagonal line that's changing. I'm going to get it as close as I can to my desired measurement then right click, change the measurement to be precise. There we go. And if I'm worried about it, I can zoom in here and adjust it. It looks like it's off a little bit. Yeah. And take it down a bit. Okay. YouTube doesn't let me do videos longer than about 12 minutes. Um, so I will speed it up from this point on but you can slow the speed down. That's how I recommend to watch it. Um, I won't be talking much from this point on. Just know I'm gonna be using a combination of my edit patterning tool, my add point split line tool, and mostly my internal polygon tool. And toward the end, I will start getting into the smooth curve and edit curvature tool. Um, those are basically the main ones I'm using. So I hope this works.